hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel today we will discuss about the understanding asmi section 9 requirement what are the requirement of asmi section 9 just i'll give you the brief view not give the details but it will be very helpful for all people for the understanding what is asmi section 9 what are the requirement especially it is requirement for Welding qualification. Whenever you are doing the welding qualification, this code is required other than FME section 9, FME AWSD 1.1 also required. So, anyway, this is the main code requirement for FME section 9. You can see for the for boiler and pressure vessels. So, let's start. Welding qualification, why procedure qualification is required? What is, why? Why we need the procedure qualification before start the welding? So this is one of the main questions. First is the design engineer. What he will do? Select material for a specific application. Specific application means if we are doing some areas, maybe source service, maybe uh, shore, onshore or offshore. Any, any source service, the different requirement is there. So, design engineer, so select the material. If it is the more sore area, then definitely this requirement is there. So, in that basis, design engineer is, they will the authorized person to select the material for a specific application. So, we need the material first before start the welding. So, design engineers they will select the material. Welding engineer, what they will do after selection of the material? Verify that weldman also after welding, verify that weldman also meet the design criteria. So they need to check that welding engineer also, what are the design criteria is there for weldman? They need to verify. Welding. Important and critical operation in fabrication of conservation piping and boiler. So this is the for FME section 9 for this is for the preservation piping and boiler. This is the very critical for, for operation for fabrication for preservation piping and boiler. Now FME section 9. What are these requirement FME section 9 establish the, the basic criteria for holding? Feature observed while preparation of requirements which affect procedure and performance. Means, as we section 9, we will give the basic criteria of welding before start of the welding. What are the requirements are there? Also, when you are doing the welding, what are the observation and what are the requirement is there as per as per SME section 9, you have to follow. This is the FME section 9 requirement. Means basic criteria for welding we, we need to follow. So this why this procedure qualification required. So this is the explanation. This is a mandatory requirement from core standard and regulation. This is very mandatory requirement for if you go anywhere in any project, if any industry, then this is a mandatory requirement for welding. In accordance with the applicable school standard regula regulation, there is a different code standards and regulation in accordance with the applicable code. Means, this is the mandatory requirement from courts. Means, this is the requirement for Maybe as we be 31.3 is mentioned, you have to follow the ASME section 9. So, this is the one of the combination. This is the combination of the code means ASME 31.3 is telling that you have to follow ASME section 9. So, in accordance with the applicable code standard and regulation, acceptance criteria of this result as per the code of construction. What are the acceptance criteria of building? So, in the code it is mentioned. Qualification records and this result to be documented. So, you have to document the qualification records and this result. Means WPS, this is the after prepared 
the WPS will be the final copy. Should the required procedure qualification record will have to document it. Test results should be accepted as per the standard and then it will be documented. Now design requirement. What are the design requirement? What do you need to check? Why procedure qualification is required? Mechanical strength and chemical composition of material at intended pressure and temperature. So design requirement, they need to check the design people, the mechanical strength and the chemical composition of material, the base metal at intended pressure and temperature means at intended pressure and temperature the material can withstand the mechanical strength and the chemical composition then it will not be brittleness and it will not be any failure in the future weld joint requirement now is the design requirement finished now you have to go the weld joint requirement weld joint requirement is a part of the component it is a part of the component shall be as strong as the parent material means weld joint it should be same as the parent material shall be as strong as the parent material means tensile strength should be strong and the same as the parent material not less than the parent material shall have the strength same as that the base material at intended pressure and temperature also strength what i see now the strength it should be same of the base material at the intended pressure and temperature now proof of confirmation how we know the Procedure qualification, it is completed. The confirmation, how we know? NDT, the only indicates weld soundness, weld soundness, weld quality. How we can check NDT? Test activity testing that determines strength of the welds. Test activity testing, what they will uh, measure that determines strength of the weld. Sample of the weld and test for the required properties. Means we have to cut the sample from the oil and we have to test for the required properties. Call for a testing for every new job and every new joint. We have to check for testing every new job or every new joint. Means every joint you have to test for what are the requirements as per section 9. So we have to follow. Concept of welding procedure helps to reduce the number of tests and hence the cost. <coughs> means Welding procedure, if you do the welding procedure qualification and welding procedure specification, whatever, the reduce the number of tests and hence the cost. Cost will be reduced because we have to, you have to follow the WPS. Then you have to follow the WPS. You are following the code, code and standard. Then number of tests is not required. And if you are not following, then definitely the number of tests and the maybe cost will be more. So many joint will be rejected then. It will be problem. Now application where it is applied will be applied or you can say the application in which areas equipment vessels and piping to be fabricated as far as the boiler and pressure vessel for process and power piping American petroleum issue. So this as me section 9 for equipment vessels piping to be fabricated as far as me boiler and pressure vessel for process and power piping. Applicable code and standard. This is the application. Now, which code and standard for application? You have to go as me section 9 to have applicable design code. Without design code, the as me section 9 is nothing. So, as me section 9, but which design code we have to follow? Because we have to take from here that design. You have to take from that design code, design uh, standard. Like you can see, as me section eight, division one or two, section one, section three, API six fifty, as me and she be thirty one point three, thirty one point one, API one one zero four, API six fifty. So these are the all the applicable design code. So as me section nine plus applicable design code is the minimum requirement for the applicable code and standard. Without this, we cannot do work. As me section 9 deals with very important the part QW means welding, part QB is the bridging, and each part is divided into further four articles. These articles is the very important. One is the general requirements, two is the procedure qualification, 
3 is the performance qualification and the 4 is the data. Means data. Means after filling this performance, there is a data that should be recorded and documented. Now, limitation. SP section 9, there is a limitation in there. We need to know the limitation. What is the limitation? To be referred only when the design code. When the design code is mentioned, so you have to follow SP section 9. Like, like section division 1, it follows that they mentioned that you need to follow the SP section 9. So, you have to follow the SP section 9 only. This is the limitation. Does not guide in the selection of the electrode. There is mention on the selection of the electrode, it is not mentioned. I have to follow that one, the ASME section 2A, 2B and 2C, you have to follow for that one, section 9, it is not mentioned. Does not guide the design of joint, design of joint, you have to follow the design code, not the ASME section 9, so this is the limitation. Or is that, does not specify the type and extent of radio of the entity to be used. So, there is not mentioned anything about the type and extent of radio of the entity to be used. Does not specify the acceptance criteria you have. You cannot find out any acceptance criteria in the section 9. Any discounted to be acceptable or not. So, in that case, you have to follow all these 3, 4, 5. Also, you can see specify energy value for impact testing. All this follow, you have to follow the design code. Like 31.3, 31.4, SB section 8, division 1, 2. FPA 650 or FPA 510, all these things we have to follow. Decide that. When a WPS and PQ is qualified, this is very important. Proves the quality, properties of well joint, prepare by a state of welding variable. So, WPS PQ is qualified. What means? What they prove? Proof means welding process is okay. Base material is okay, welding conservable is correct in condition, welding parameters and techniques, whatever they have used, this is everything is uh, okay as far as this section 9. Like position, polarity, preheat, interface temperature, back gouging, and the PWHD. All these things, it can prove the quality is okay. When you, you can see the WPS and PQ qualified means, these are the things all in the correct way it's happened then the wps paper is qualified qualification is limited to the essential variable of the specific process so this qualification is limited to the essential variable there is some essential variable is there so you have to follow that essential variable if it is cross the essential variable there is a certain um, uh, value is there then you have to read the requalification for the WPH. We have to follow the qualification is limited to the essential value for the specific process. Now, when you proceed your specification QW, if you go for 82, WPS written document showing all the applicable welding variables. So, when you see the WPS, you can see the there is a written document in WPS. All the applicable welding variable you can see, like essential variable, non-essential variable, supplementary variable. All variable you can see in that written document. Provide direction for making production weight which will meet code requirement. You can see the WPS, the direction of making production weight. How do you make the production weight? In which way? What are the requirements for base metal and what are the in, um, stringer and weaving? How many passes in there? So, I have, you can see that code requirement. The direction is there, the production of how you do. Holding variables, the essential variable, non-essential variable and supplementary essential variable. So, essential variables means significant effect on the old properties we change. So, if you see that is a essential variable changes is there, so the WPS you need to requalify. So, there is a limitation is there, the limitation essential variable cannot change if it is for the limit. Non-essential variables, no significant effect on the oil properties. Means, essential variables, if changes, then mechanical properties can be changed. Non-essential variable, there is no significant effect on if there is a non-essential variable, if it is changes anything, there is no changes in the 
there is not affect anything about the old properties and supplementary essential variable what is the mean when other sections specify not stop this test and are in addition to the essential variable essential variable supplementary essential variable means there is essential variable and this is the adding some of the extra requirement like not stop this test this is supplementary essential variable you can say this is also very requirement if it is changing the not stop this test requirement then you need to qualify the wps again variables are listed for each winding process in qw 252 and qw 265 so then variable you can see listed in the each winding process in qw 252 and qw 265 for asking section 9 wps should be available for reference and review by the inspector whenever you can see holding at site you need to check the wps should be available at there for reference and it should be followed and reviewed by the inspector. It should also be made available by holding supervisor also holder. So this is the minimum requirement you have to available for the reference reviewed by the inspector also available or uh, also it should be available in the holding supervisor and holders. Procedure qualification record. What is this? What is the requirement for this? A mock-up represent welding done in a shop under similar condition. So a mock-up is required, procedure qualification. You have finished all these things, procedure qualification, then you have to present the record that welding done and you have some record welding, I mean the uh, amperage, voltage, double speed, all this. Some codes call for a production weld coupon as an additional measure. Production coupon also act as a qualification test for the PQR. So, production coupon also act as a qualification test. Yes. Prepare a weight coupon using in preliminary WPH. So, this is the prepare you have to prepare a weight coupon using a preliminary WPH. Weight coupon undergoes destructive test. Then, testing requirement as are specified in section 9. Acceptance norm shall be as per the construction code and PQR is limited to the essential variable of the machining process. So, your procedure qualification record, these things you have to remember. First is a mock up. You have to present the welding done in a shop under similar condition. Some codes call for a production weld. Coupons in addition on the other. Production coupons also act as a what qualification test for the PQR. So these are the products and quality, procedure qualification record that you have to know the sum of the points. Process of listing capability of the welder is known as welder performance qualification test. So that is welding, you have finished the WPS, you have WPS, there is the WPS, everything is done. Now the thing is the welder should follow that WPS and they should achieve the result. Then that is called the welder performance qualification test. Ascertain the skill of a welder or a welding operator to produce defect free weld. Means the skill of a welder we need to check of a welding operator as per the SME section 9. We need some of the testing is there and we have to produce the defect free or sound weld. Mix a weld coupon using an approved WPS. You have to follow the approved WPS when you are doing the welding coupon. Weld coupon undergoes soundness test. You have to go maybe NDT or DT test. If the NDT and DT is okay, then the welder will be qualified. So mix a weld coupon using an approved WPS weld coupon under the soundness and NDT and DD test. Then if uh, the NDT and DD test okay, then uh, first thing the welder will be qualified. Each qualified welder shall be assigned by a unique welder number. So after welder qualification, the inspector should give the one unique welder number to identify that welder. 
holders qualification on records are documented should be documented performance qualification is limited to the essential variables of the specific holding process so performance holder qualification is limited to the essential variable of the specific so some essence is limited it is not uh, you cannot say the performance qualification there is essential variable and this is limited essential variable and you have to follow that essential variable if it is changes if it is uh, it is beyond that essential variable then you have to uh, make the again the uh, redo the performance qualification section has two parts welding and bridging one is the mw another is the ub under welding ub one is welding another is bridging under welding there are four chapter article 1 to 5 in addition to initial introduction now you can see the four chapter which is article 1 to 3 1 to 5 uh, there is the under welding in addition to initial introduction article 1 is general you can see position of welding examination is the various types of test testing procedures specimen details acceptance agenda this is article 1 article 2 welding procedure qualification that is wps required their contents format list of variables by essential variable non essential variable all the supplementary essential variable qualification ranges the type of number of examination required this is the article 2 so there is four chapter article one you see the this is the general article two is the welding procedure qualification what is the requirement article three is the welding performance qualification that is wp2 list of variables qualification ranges and type number of examination required article four is the compiled welding data mean for using the article one two three so whatever in the data it use uh, in 1, 2, 3, that is to be compiled and minted data, holding data. Hence, for example, you can say one who wants to qualify a holder can directly refer Article 3. So, if it is qualify of holder, he needs, then he can refer the WPQ, means holder performance qualification, or holding performance qualification. Article 5 is the uh, very important standard holding procedure specification what do we mean the standard holding procedure specification means holding procedure specification already prepared you can use that the swps directly no need to do any required like useful for you can say this standard holding procedure specification useful for mall manufacturer whose knowledge of holding is minimal means Welding knowledge is not there is too much. Maybe some industries are there, some manufacturers. They can use the direct SWPS. We'll have to purchase them from AWS. AWS, there, the own WPS is there. They are already prepared WPS, SWPS, they can use. Instead of performing more required test, manufacturer to perform a document, a demonstration while following a typical SWPS. If SWPS you are using from the AWS, then no need to do and require manufacturer to demonstrate and document that he knows enough about welding to follow the SWPS. So manufacturer also demonstrate to company or client that they know the very welding about welding and he can follow the SWPS. After welding and testing, one demonstration coupon, many other SWPS may typically be used without further demonstration. So one demonstration coupon can be used for the many SWPs. Not permitted for construction where impact testing of the WPS is required. So, SWPs, if it is some areas, maybe some uh, project, some areas, some concern need impact testing, then there is not permitted construction. You cannot follow the SWPs. Then they need to prepare the WPS. And means they need to follow the picker then only finalize the WPS. The specific requirement of SWPS are covered in article 5 in that is QW500. Sample form is there, QW485 is demonstrated is non-mandatory appendix D. The permitted SWPS are listed in appendix D. Means why this is mentioned in this uh, video, this is the uh, 
here information you can check so what are the hwps what are the listed permitted hwps all these things are you can check in the appendix e this hwps cover only of p1 and p8 material using smw gtaw and gmw fc so this is also limitation is there you can only use for hwps p1 and p8 material using which process also smw gtaw and gmw fc Typical thickness range permitted are 1 8 inch to 1 and a half inch and both are welded and most well heat treated procedures are available. So there are also limitation. Typical thickness range is there permitted only 1 8 inch to 1 and a half inch and both as welded and post heated procedure are available. Welding data essential non essential and supplementary essential variable ferrer metal grouping it is called the p number ferrer metal grouping welding data welding data means you can say essential variable non essential variable supplementary essential variable in that variable you can find out the after that finish the peak wear the welding data it can be generated ferrer metal grouping p number ferrer metal grouping it is called the f number Weld metal composition grouping is called the A number. Welding position it is group and fillet. Types of test what are the test? Tension, guide bendish, notch test. Test requirement and acceptance limit. Test specimen, what location, what dimension, and the testing procedure. So this is you need to know the test requirement and acceptance limit. What it is you can find out. This specimen location, dimension, and the testing procedure qualification range in thickness and diameter. Qualification means range in thickness and diameter. With what are the range of thickness and which qualification you are you have to you are approving in the blue field. So you have to you need to know the range in thickness and diameter. Record and documentation of WP speaker and WP. So record and documentation. You need to check the WPS older performance qualification, WPS require all this, you have to record and should be documented. Understand as me section to part C. So, this is uh, already you have to finish the main holding as me section 9. Uh, this is the minimum that is article, whatever article 1, article 2, article 3, all these things you not to understand. Now, the section 2 part C. What is section 2 part C? Specific for filler analysis SFA number. That is AWS. You, what, are, what are the filler metal you are using for the particular welding? That you can find out in AFNI section 2 part C. That is called SFA number. Specific filler analysis number. AWS classification of welding consumable. Limit of chemical composition and mechanical properties of consumable. So you can check, understand. If you see the SP section 2 part C, there is uh, the uh, limit of chemical composition and the mechanical properties are uh, uh, including capability after PWHD of consumable. How you select the filler metal? This is selection very important. The basic concept you need to know the filler metal, how you selection, match the base metal property, yield state and ultimate tensile strength are expected to meet the exceed the minimum specified properties. So it should be made the base metal property. If it is less than, then it is a problem. You cannot uh, you cannot get that filler material for this particular material. So this should be match the base metal, the yield strength and the UPS, same or higher. Matching filler metal is required for complete joint penetration group well in tension or fillet well loaded in shear. So filler metal is required for the complete joint penetration group well in tension or fillet well. Depending on the type of well joint and loading, lower filler metal strength may be acceptable or desirable for specific design. So depending upon the if the type and well joint or loading may be you can find out the filler metal strength may be lower than the base metal. In some cases, it can be acceptable. Mode specification or contract document may require specific mechanical properties that those recommended do not meet. 
So if there is a, if you think that this uh, particular mechanical properties are not a requirement or uh, maybe it cannot be, so contract documents should be there. Course specification, which course specifications mention contract document clearly should be mentioned. In those cases, electrode selection should be limited to those products that meet the specific applicable requirement. So this is the selection of the pillar metal, the basic concept, concept is of now. Check required level of diffusible hydrogen in deposited old metal. Definitely, there is an electrode we need to check. How we have to check that electrode is okay, chemical composition. So, we have to check the main check. We need to check the diffusible hydrogen in deposited old metal. Why we need to check? This is, we need to get hydrogen if it is more, then it will be more, more uh, strain to, uh, you can say, the for cracking or origin defect. The permissible H2 level dependent on many factors including the heat and interface technique intended to be used. So permissible H2 level dependent on heat factor, the heat and interface level production. The selected filler metal shall have proper preheat and interface level production. Every filler metal have their the proper preheat and interface temperature. If you see the section to part C, there is a chart, it's clearly mentioned there. What are the preheat temperature and the interface temperature is required. Consider notch toughness. Example, charging freeness property. You have to check the, consider the notch toughness also in the welding when you are selecting the um, filler metal. PWST requirement also you need to check depend upon the filler metal. The filler metal, which strength is there. So in that basis, we can select the filler metal. So this is a 132 minutes video and this is a very important, you can see the ASME section 9, you can get the good idea from this video. And if you have any questions and query, you can uh, just uh, send a message box in YouTube channel, YouTube for the video, then I can definitely reply to you. And uh, this is not the completed one, then part 2 will upload soon, there is a how I will, up, I will explain to you step to step how to prepare a WPS and what are the requirements in WPS, especially in the WPS. Thanks for watching the video. Please and uh, very important, uh, those people still not subscribe, subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel to get the regular video. Thank you.